Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have a real treat, something that I don't get too often because I don't see it on the store shelves that often, but I spotted this and I took advantage of it. It's from the Goose Island Brewing Company, located in Chicago, Illinois. And this is the Sophie. This is a bottle-conditioned ale. Now, this was fermented in wine tanks, and it has orange peel in it. Now, what makes this so special is that it's one of the very few beers that AB InBev didn't destroy, in my humble opinion, because I don't know what year it was that AB InBev uh, purchased Goose Island for an obscene amount of money. Yeah, it was a lot of money, I tell you. But, um, man, they just destroyed all the beers. The Hunker's Ale, which was the flagship beer of Goose Island, is not available in the United States anymore. And I really like that beer. That was a, a, a very easy drinking beer, and it was easy to notice because you would see the Goose Handle Tap at the bar, and you knew they had Goose Island, and uh, it's no longer available in the States. I wrote down a couple of things about the beer here. Uh, it's a Belgian-style Saison, and it checks in at 6.5% alcohol by volume, and I already told you it's aged in wine barrels. So this is bottle condition, so let's open it very carefully. Um, man, it just makes me really sad because I visited Goose Island uh, when it first opened in Chicago. Man, it's been so long ago. It was back in the 1980s. And I was so sad when they sold out to, uh, well, at the time, I think it was just in Belve. Um, there were so many consolidations back then, I can't recall. But, um, yeah, any time that AB InBev buys out a brewery, it's not it's not good. And uh, they locally, they bought our platform brewery here, and now it's closed. I don't know if they're still producing any of the beers, but you can bet your bottom dollar if they are. They're not like they were. Yeah, because AB InBev buys uh, breweries, and for whatever reasons, they want to change the recipe to cheapen it. And yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, this glassware has a long history. I'm not going to bore you with it, but I'm lucky to have it today. And, uh, man. Let's go ahead and get this beer in here. Let's pour it straight in because that's what this glassware is designed for. It will take the amount of foam that you can give it. Oh, wow. Definitely some orange in there. Definitely some orange, some vanilla. Smells a little spicy too. Now, I haven't had this beer in probably over 10 years. They make an entire series of this beer that are bottle conditioned. And like I said, thankfully, AB InVev didn't mess around with the recipes. They haven't done any adjustments. And uh, same thing with the other beer. Um, oh, I can't think of it. Bourbon County. Bourbon County beer. That's a stout. They have not done anything to that. Matter of fact, I have two additions out in the fridge right now. I have one from 2021 and 2022. And you can let those beers sit around for a good while. You don't have to drink them right away. And you don't have to drink this beer right away either. I mean, bottle conditioned beers will keep. Matter of fact, I didn't tell you that. What is the date? Did I write that down? Uh, best before 2025. <laughs> best before 20, we're in 2023. What? You can let this beer sit around a while. And I think you could let it sit around longer than 2025. Yeah, you could let this beer sit around. Now, this, this, uh, head, I'm going to call it head. I, I hate to use the word foam. 
this is a solid hit. It's not going to go anywhere. And that's why Goose Island crafted this goblet. Well, this is not a goblet. Uh, tulip glass. This is a tulip glass. That's why they crafted it like this. There's a reason why beer companies make glassware in a certain way. Because they know this is bottle condition and it's going to build up buku head. Buku. You ever heard that, buku? Yeah, we were saying that way before the movie Full Metal Jacket came along. Buku. Too buku. Means too much. Buku means too much. Yeah, anyway, uh, beautiful, uh, slightly hazy, uh, golden color with a nice bright white bit of foam. Let's go ahead and drink it. Many cheers to the brewers there at Goose Island. Thank you for preserving this beer and keep it away from the claws of, of AB InVev. Cheers to you and everyone else watching. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. You get the orange peel. I got some coriander. Mm, I got some, ooh-wee, some fruitiness in there from something. Some vanilla. Ooh-wee. And yeastiness in there. Now, if you don't want that yeastiness, don't swirl this around and don't pour it in. Because watch how the complexion changes now. Oh, here comes my kitty cat. What's the matter? Is he hungry again? What's the matter? Where's he at? Oh, there he is, a little baby kitty. What's the matter? You want some beer? You do? Uh-oh, see what happened? You knocked the bottle off. Good thing that was empty. <laughs> Good thing that was empty, you bad little kitty cat. You little silly kitty cat. Anyway, let's see what happens with this beer. Oh, yeah, it has become much more cloudy. I think you would agree it's much more cloudy. Um, man, let's go ahead and taste it now. This is a sipping beer. You don't want to drink this beer straight away. You want to taste all the liquid loveliness that this beer has to offer. Man, that is a medium-bodied beer with a medium mouthfeel, and it's got medium carbonation. Everything on this beer is medium. And it's designed that way for a reason. Man, this would be a good aperitif uh, before dinner or digestive after dinner. No doubt about it. This beer. Mm. And there's another one. Uh, it's called Matilda. And I can't recall the other one. I think there were three of them, though. And thank goodness that uh, the new conglomeration, the new owners didn't fool with this because there would be a lot of upset people out there in the beer world. I'm telling you, man, this is what Goose Island is all about right here. Yeah, like I said, I'm so sorry about the Honkers Ale. It was just a good all-around ale to drink with your meal. Oh, yeah, it was great. And like I said, I love that Goose um, tap handle. That was great. Now, there's still some around that you can buy, but they're few and far between. People don't want to part with them, no doubt about it. Maybe in a state sale you can find one, but uh, yeah. Now look at the lacing on that glassware. Man, I'm telling you, look at that thing. It's just a lovely beer. It's just a lovely all-around beer. Um, and tell me, if you never had this beer, now it costs a few dollars. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not cheap. I think this bottle was like $8 and change. Yeah, it's not cheap. But it's not going to go bad anytime soon. And the longer you let it sit, it's going to mellow. It's, it ages really well. So no two bottles are going to taste the same. So what I'm telling you, you may say, oh, I didn't get that. Because, yeah, you know what? Uh, even if it was brewed on the same day and we opened it at the same time, it's going to be a little bit different because it's a live beer. It got a little bit of yeast added there. So life is short, my friends. Let's be happy. Try new beers like this one right here from Goose Island, a remnant of their past, and you'll be quite pleased. I guarantee it. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also.
First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they it, it charged me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure, but the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast, and if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair, more than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month, and there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just uh, a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, 
I bought it at Amazon. Amazon.com is called a Vacuvin. Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here, and it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, Put it in here, and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I, I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. And um, this is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera. But I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.